Hello everybody, Build it here. I'm getting ready to do a opening of the June edition, which he calls Summer 2019, but it's the June edition of the Alien 3D UFO box. Uh, obviously my box got a little damaged in shipping, but that's okay uh, as long as the articles that are inside are okay. That's all that ma really matters in this instance. So I got my knife here ready. Find where the tape is. Tape's here. So open the tape, open the box. And so, first thing is, we have the new, this is the new stuff. This is the Alien Probed Green Pet G filament. It's a semi-transparent, I can tell. Uh, because you can look at it, you can see it looks very glassy and very clear. So it's a semi-transparent filament. That's pretty awesome. I can't wait to try that out. Uh, we also have Snow Lab Alchemist Gold. We'll see how that looks as far as gold goes. Um, pretty much most gold filaments are really difficult to actually have a real gold color, but that's still... I, I like printing in gold colors as well. Blue is my favorite color, and right here, Amazon Basics. ABS Blue, um, so that's an, another one here. I'll have to try that. It's uh, ABS though, which I really don't like printing with ABS anymore. I really prefer to print with uh, PET G. And then we have the Pro Select Turquoise from Filament One, uh, which I also, you know, we just did the Filament One box last night. Uh, so here we are doing the the uh, Filament One Filament Turquoise Green Pro Select on that and then we have looks like some plexiglass here that's already pre-cut to different sizes so uh, I have two cameras going here so I can show it either way um, so there's that there's all the filaments I'll put them over here where the other camera can see them uh, four things of filament and it looks like a bunch of tools and then some uh, <coughs> lemon head candies Another item that uh, obviously I am not going to eat because uh, I've discontinued the uh, sugars from my diet. And so far I've lost about 11 pounds, almost 12 pounds. So that's, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'd like to lose more and uh, I'll continue with what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so it says it's month 12 of the, of his box. I've been with him for all 12 months, so that, that's awesome. Um, uh, let's see uh, the tools. So let's open, open it up uh, and see what's inside the bag of tools here. Right here. Dump the bag out and then I'll put it Okay, so the bag is now empty. And uh, so it looks like some mini little drill bits here. I'm not sure what sizes they are. Uh, maybe he says on a sheet note. Uh, yeah, maybe he does. Uh, nope, doesn't say what size they are. Okay. So these are for, you know, basically drilling out your nozzle, basically. They're, they're that size. And, uh, I'll have to look and see what sizes they are because nothing's I don't see anything that says on here what they are. Um, I can measure them, but they're different colors, so I'm assuming the different colors mean a uh, different size bit. That, that's an assumption I'm making, I could be wrong. Uh, a pair of uh, rounded diagonal cutters, a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, a set of Allen wrenches that are on a ring and they're on the ring so you can keep them all together. And I know these kind of rings you can actually grab the spring that's on the end of the wrench and you can pull it off and remove it from the ring and then you can put it back on the spring later. A uh, Phillips screwdriver and a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but a, a spatula or whatever you want to call it. And let's see, then a pair of tweezers and 
a wrench, which I'm assuming is the right size, hopefully. No, nope, looks like it's a different size. Okay, so it won't do the size that I would hope it would be. I would hope it would be like the size of a uh, of the nozzles, but it looks like it's larger than the size of a nozzle. And it's permanently attached, so it's, it's welded to this uh, this fitting. So it's got a right angle and a straight, and I guess they're the same size probably. So I can't read what size they are. On either one. Anyway, so that's those are all the items that came in the box for the month. I'm sure that if we when I go online and check the project, it'll tell me what this is what the plexiglass is for. Um, so I'll tell you what it says. It says thank you, 12th UFO. Wow, as I write this one year ago this month, I started teasing on Twitter that the UFO invasion was coming. I had an idea. I didn't know if it would go anywhere, but I was going to try try in these short try period. In these short 12 months, I have grown from a nobody that no one had heard of into a company that at least some people know about now, LOL. Um, at least 12, in the last 12 months, I have done charities, tried to contribute to the community, somehow managed to get people to help me with a 12 foot tall community print expanded my business into more than just UFOs but now my own line of filament alien 3d branded printers became a reseller of great brands and most of all was welcomed to the fam as a family member into the 3d printing community it has been an amazing ride and I cannot see wait to see what the next 12 months brings I hope you all continue to stick by me even after months where I get a little lost and behind really really trying to get ahead of on everything you are all so amazing thank you all so much for your continued support 3d print the world josh alien 3d so that's where we're at the bonus project sorry couldn't fit a full 3d printer enclosure uh acrylic panes into ufo as much as i would like to have uh love to do uh, instead since it's summer i have come up with a seedling starter greenhouse so that's what we're making is a greenhouse um thinking about bobber as he says gardening probably isn't everyone's forte but it's one place that practical prints can be used print out the planner and the frames for the acrylic toss in some dirt and seeds and watch your harvest grow links to files at alien 3d ufo um that's uh, that's it for the, for the month. That's the alien box. There's some stickers inside. Uh, there's this, uh, Ashcan Comics the pub. There's the Snow Labs uh, sticker inside, and that's pretty much it on the on that. And that concludes this month's UFO box. I look forward to the next 12 months. Thank you very much, Josh. I really appreciate all that you do for the community, and. Uh, I wish you great success in the years to come. And uh, Bill, build it. Signing out. Have a great one, guys. See you next time.